Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here with the newest Simon Says Stamp card kit. We're going to begin with an easy encouraging card. I know encouraging cards can be a bit difficult to make, so this set is absolutely stunning. Lots of beautiful florals. We're going to be using some really fun sentiments. And of course, the gorgeous embellishments included in the 2019 card kit. So we're going to begin by placing our sentiment on our Misty. Our Misty is a stamp positioner and I actually have a piece of black cardstock already placed on it. It's a little bit difficult to see but once you see that white embossing come through it's going to be stunning. I'm going to come in with my white Simon Says Stamp embossing powder that I have in a little container that I actually got at TJ Maxx but Simon does carry it. So I'm going to do some heat embossing heat set it and then when it's cooled off we're going to go ahead and trim the edges to create a very nice square or rectangle whichever you prefer depending on the amount of paper and edging that you want to expose on it. So we're going to remove one side and we're going to come in and do the other side and we're going to move on to assembling our card. So now that I have my piece of sentiment, I place some foam adhesive on the back. We're going to place it right on the center of our card panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have two of the florals from the Look for the Rainbow stamp set, and I have colored these on watercolor paper and colored them with Zik Clean Color Markers. I will place all the products used for this card at the bottom of the description. All right, for our finishing touch, we're going to come in with some Nouveau Clear excuse me, not Nouveau, Tombow Clear Glue, and then come in with our Nouveau Gems and place those Nouveau Gems on the clear. That is absolutely my favorite glue, and I really like how it dries clear, and this is just a really nice way to create a sympathy card or an encouraging card with some bright colors that don't take away from it. All right, guys, for card number two, we're going to use some of the beautiful cardstock from the kit. We're going to begin with the following products. So we're going to be using the florals from the stamp set in the kit. I have a piece of vellum. We're going to be using some of the Nouveau gems. And the beautiful uh, foil paper is also included in the kit. So you are really using very basic supplies. We're going to begin by stamping our vellum with the everything will be okay and then we are going to bring in some of that gold embossing powder and then we're going to heat set it. Once that heat set we are going to place some Tombow Clear Runner on the back of this and then we're going to cut any excess of the vellum. Then we're going to come in with the florals again these have been colored and cut and I hope that Simon um, comes in with some matching dies, but I actually ended up fussy cutting these and it was a really fun project to do. We're going to continue on with the leaves again that these have been stamped, colored, and cut. And we're going to remove some of that foam backing and then we're going to stick that right behind it and then I have a tiny little one just ready to be placed and create a little bit of layering. And last but not least, we're going to add that last of the leaves. We're going to come in again with our clear adhesive, adding a couple of droplets, and then coming in with our Nubo Crystal Gems and adding those to where we add a little bit of glue. Don't add too much glue because then it is kind of hard to get them to stick. I am using the Crystal Katana. It's a pen sort of with a wax tip to pick up any of the little embellishments, and I will tag that at the bottom of the video. Number three, we are doing a no coloring. Seriously, we colored twice. So <laughs> we're going to do repetitive stamping, my favorite technique. Our cardstock has been cut to be a quarter of an inch smaller than the rest of our card base. So what we're going to do, we're going to come in and stamp that black sentiment. And then we're going to come in with our leaves and filling in the entire card base with all of our image. I'm going to come in, I'm going to zoom in just so you can see it a little bit closer. And then my point here is to really go around the sentiment first. And then later I can come in and fill in the other places. And that way it's not so one, so bunched in. And two, I don't end up mistakenly stamping over my sentiment. Because we are wanting to do a one layer card, which I absolutely love 
for the purposes of saving on postage. This is a great way to use the beautiful sentiments and the gorgeous flowers from this kit without having to do a ton of coloring just because it looks so clean. Okay, once that's done, we are going to mat that. As I mentioned, it's a quarter of an inch smaller on each side. And so it's going to create a very nice frame, a very nice mat for it. And then we are going to embellish with some of those crystal nubles. It's just going to add a little bit of shimmer without adding too much to it. And honestly, this is one of the simplest cards. And I love how the beauty of the stamps just keeps it very, very simple. And again, perfect for an encouraging card without too much color. Okay, friends, last but not least, number four, we are doing so much coloring. This is the way to do it. This is the one layer card. So this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using the six by eight look for the rainbows. We're going to be using two colors of ink, burly beige and intense black, and then an assortment of the Zig clean color markers. So I'm going to bring in, I'm going to start by stamping my sentiment. So honestly, this is real time. We are going to place this on our acrylic block. And I like to line these up and we're going to stamp it with the black ink. I'm going to speed up the process just a little bit. We're going to grab that black ink, stamp it on the center of the card because this is going to be the main focus of the card. Then using the florals, we are going to do a little bit of a wrap around to create again the focus of the card. We're going to grab the acrylic block, put it down, and then we're going to be using that burly beige. The burly beige is kind of like a grayish color. However, when you watercolor, it will really kind of hide. It's going to, it'll be absorbed. So it'll end up looking like a hand drawn color, which with these florals, you know what? I'll take it. Somebody can think I totally drew these, but again, a stunning stamp set, super easy to layer, super easy to stamp over each other and not having to do a lot of masking. And we are going to wrap around the sentiment with our burly beige. And it's going to allow us to come in with our watercolors. For the purposes of this tutorial, I want to show you guys the process. I hear your comments. I see them. You guys want to see a process of coloring. So this is it. We're just going to speed it eight times as fast. We're going to begin by adding all of our colors and I'm using two colors of the Zig Clean Color I'm using a one of my acrylic blocks. And what that does is it allows me to grab the color. I'm using a water brush. Again, I will link everything down below. And I'm going to begin by doing the background of the card. Next, I'm going to color directly on the green of the leaves of the tips. And now we're grabbing that color and bring it down. I really do like multi-dimensional leaves. So again, starting with the darkest allows us a little bit of room to come in with a darker color and creating a shadow at the base of the leaves. As you can see, I'm coming and grabbing it. When you're ready to move on to your next color, just clean it off with a baby wipe. We are doing the bottoms or the centers of our flowers. Then with the marker itself, we are going to come in and create those beautiful lines that have already been drawn for us and just doing a very simple wash of that red, covering the entire petal. And this is just going to really allow us to see where we're going. And that way we don't lose our lines of that burly beige as we have added the uh, background color already. We're going to let it dry. It turned out really pretty. You can come in and add several more layers if you choose of coloring, but honestly, just keeping it very simple and doing about two colors per item. So, so two colors per leaves, two colors per, 
for petals of the flowers just keeps it super simple and we're going to mat it on white and that does it thank you so much for joining me today super fun encouraging cards that i hope you love to create get your simon says stamp kit i will link everything in the bottom please be sure to give me a like and a subscribe thank you so much have a great day